Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with Martin's new DE Black Walnut Amber Burst guitar. This is a guitar that was introduced at the uh, 2018 Summer NAMM Show, and uh, it was introduced in tandem with a grand performance size uh, guitar with similar specs, and you may have seen our demo of that guitar a little while ago. Um, what it is, it's a dreadnought size instrument uh, built with a uh, Sitka spruce top. It has the amber burst top finish, and uh, the back and sides of the guitar are made from black walnut, which is very interesting because it's kind of an uncommon wood, particularly for a dreadnought guitar. Um, it's a great alternative uh, to tropical woods um, like mahogany or rosewood or more common woods in general. And uh, walnut's been used for uh, backs and sides of guitars for many years, uh, sort of on and off, but it's never reached the popularity of some of the other more common materials. And uh, it's a great sounding wood, so I'm very happy to see Martin branching into using it uh, for this line of guitars. So as you can probably tell by looking at the guitar, it follows Martin's standard dreadnought dimensions. It's got the 14 fret neck. Uh, solid peg head. Uh, like a lot of Martins um, from the last uh, few years, it's got a slightly wider neck uh, than traditional dreadnoughts would have. This is a one and three quarter inch nut width. It has the standard long dreadnought scale, 25.5 inches. Um, one departure from traditional construction is that the fingerboard and the bridge are made from rich light, uh, which is an interesting material. Uh, it's a great alternative uh, to using a hardwood like uh, ebony, and uh, it's essentially a, uh, a paper product that's been soaked in a special resin and then uh, dyed black. It's got very similar qualities to ebony in terms of its hardness in the way that, uh, that frets can be seated in it, uh, in terms of its weight and strength. Um, so really very similar to an ebony fingerboard or bridge, but without using what is now a limited resource. Uh, so Martin's been using this on quite a few different models uh, for a little while, and uh, it seems to work very well on this particular guitar. The guitar has scalloped and a forward shifted X bracing, so kind of a vintage style uh, top bracing approach to the guitar. The neck has the modified low oval shape, uh, so definitely more of a contemporary feel um, on the neck of the guitar. And um, it includes Fishman Electronics, and in this case, they're the Matrix VT Enhance NT2 um, uh, electronics, which consist of the acoustic matrix pickup under the saddle and what Fishman calls the enhanced pickup, which is a contact pickup mounted to the bridge plate inside the top. Uh, there are controls for volume and tone, as well as a dial to uh, control how much of the second pickup you're getting in the signal mounted down here in the uh, lower part of the sound hole. And the uh, output is uh, through a special assembly right here in the tail block, which also includes the battery access for a 9-volt battery. I'm going to come back to showing you what the guitar sounds uh, like plugged into a Fishman amplifier here in a moment. For now, uh, let's also listen to Peghead Nation's Scott Nygaard playing the guitar. <laughs> Okay, so I'm plugged into my uh, Fishman Loudbox charge amplifier here. Uh, EQ is set flat on the amp. I've got a little touch of reverb on, on the signal. 
Um, and I'm going to start out by showing you uh, what the electronics sound like dialed in with just the under saddle pickup. I've got the uh, EQ wheel, the tone wheel about in the middle, and uh, the volume on here is all the way up. The enhance feature is off right now. show you what it sounds like with the enhanced pickup uh, dialed in and want to start out by turning it up all the way and you can definitely tell you get a little bit more body resonance this way because it picks up the direct vibrations of the top due to its location right on the bridge plate as well um, so here it is with the enhanced function all the way on In a practical application, you might choose to just use a little bit of this feature or dial it kind of halfway, um, halfway between the two settings. Uh, but it is definitely very nice uh, to have the second pickup uh, to further shape your tone, to get a little bit more resonance from the body, um, whether you're playing through a little amp, uh, whether you're home recording, or, or you're playing through PA on stage. So it's a, a very nice uh, and flexible pickup system built right into this guitar. Um, that'll make it easy to get uh, an amplified sound from it. So that's the Martin DE Black Walnut Ambertone. It's a very cool new guitar, um, very interesting uh, to see Martin using walnut on a dreadnought size guitar. Uh, definitely a great step toward building a guitar made from sustainably harvested materials um, and uh, also leads to a great sounding and a great looking guitar. So check them out at your Martin dealer. Please come back here to Peggot Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gherkin.